Hello, Long Riders, and welcome back to another episode of Carl Ties. And this one, Carl ties up a woolly bugger. Really cool. He moves the camera closer. He's getting better. Now, let's take you to the vice with Carl and Carl ties a woolly bugger. Hey, but make sure you still subscribe to our channel. Make sure you check out the, all the links before below this video so that you can like buy stuff and help our channel out so check all the links there's a Cabela's link down there for the store you can buy anything in the store we make out there's Amazon links down there you can buy anything from Amazon we make out so without any further ado let's get to the vice take it away Carl All right, folks, today I'm going to tie a bullet bugger. I'm going to use a number 10 hook. And the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to debarb it. I catch and release 95% of my fish, so I always debarb my hooks. Then... I'm going to want to put a bead on it. And what I did is I had taken a popsicle stick. And I put a magnet on it on one side. And on the other side, I put a piece of Velcro. Now... As you can see, I got the bead on the hook, or on the magnet right now. Makes it a whole heck of a lot easier to put the beads on your hook. I'm going to set this right in there. Whoops. And there we go. There we go. Whoops. And once you know it, I put it on backwards. Well, let's try this all over again. And I lost the beat. That's all right, I got it back. All right. What you're gonna to wanna to do is when you do your beads, you want the small end towards the front of the, the eye of the hook. I'll set this right back in here on the vise here. Now, then I'm going to want to get some wire. Now, I'm going to use I'm going to use a ten thousandths lead wire. 
Let's take yourself a good size piece off there. I'm going to set this right back into my box. <coughs> and I'm going to start wrapping that right on around. And what I do is I always get some head cement. If you don't put head cement on there, the things tend to wind down around and wind down around and wind down around. And I'm not into that. So I just put a liberal amount of head cement. Right on that hook, right on the shank of the hook. And then I wind it right on the wire right on around. Probably a good 10 or 12 turns anyway. Just for some extra added weight. Nip off any excess. Don't use your good scissors on it. This is one of my old pair of scissors. And I put another coat of this head cement right on over that wire again. I'm not into, like I said, I'm not into my thread or my chenille or whatever else rolling on around it. Next, I'm going to want to take my thread, wind it up around the back part of it, wind it over top of that lead, wind it up to the back side of it. Back forward. There we go. Wind it right on back again. And then proceed on tying in the tail. I got myself a piece of feather here, tail feather, and what you want is about half the length of the hook, tie that right into the back side of there.
all the excess. And wind that up. And I want to take it. back to the back side right where you tied in the tail and I'm going to tie in a piece of chenille I'm using olive chenille get this tied in there run that back up towards the front of the hook Start wrapping that on around. Up to the front of the hook here. Towards the eye of the hook, towards your bead. Tie that off. There we go. And I'm going to take and cut this off. The extra chenille here. There we go. Wrap is a little bit. Alrighty. And I'm going to get myself a feather. Of a hackle. Now what I did is I cut off the end of it a little bit. Left some barbules on there. And I'm going to tie that right in towards the, right at the eye of the hook. Take one wrap. Turn that around the eye of the hook. Well, that didn't work. I got a pair of hackle pliers here. Comb them back. That first one. There we go. Run your thread to the back, tie it right in, and then run it back up. Try not to catch any of the feathers, any of the hackle here, and bring it right up towards the beat of the hook. Now that I got that. Cut off the excess, which isn't much. Wrap it around a couple of times up towards the front. And then, okay, where are my There 
it is. Whip finishing tool here. And run a few turns on around there. That is it. Simple little fly. Cut off the excess thread. A little bit more head cement. There we go. That's it. That's all there is to a little fly called the woolly bugger. Now these can be cut, tied in a variety of different colors. But there you go. Nice little fly. Fish love these. They love them, the trout do. Whoops. There you go. Have a good day. Hey, I hope you liked that version of the Wooly Bugger that Carl tied up for you. That video, he is learning so fast. I would have never got the camera angle down. I took me many videos to get it right. He's learning so quick. Um, it's awesome. I can't wait to his next video. I can't wait to gives us more videos. It's just great. He's learning so quick, man. I wish I could have learned that quick when I started making videos. But anyway. Thank you for watching Carl Ties. Um, here's some more videos he made. A video just for you. Goes off of why you watch the most. Subscribe here. Always subscribe here. Look forward to more of Carl's videos, more of our time videos and fishing videos. You don't want to miss them. They're coming like mad now. Subscribe.